Hello, Kulas, and welcome to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest transfer news. We start with Jules Koundé, as it has been reported that Chelsea are close in on an agreement with Sevilla for Koundé. Barca have asked the player to refuse those offers from Chelsea. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about um, Bayern Munich manager Julian Nagelsmann, who have recently aimed a dick at Barcelona after Lewandowski transfer. We are going to be discussing on what the Bayern coach had to say. So guys, as we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. With the situation of Jules Koundé's transfer ever evolving, there is a fresh development on the matter as Chelsea and Barcelona fight in out for his signing. According to Food Mercato, Chelsea and Sevilla are closing in on an agreement over a transfer for the French defender. However, Koundé continues to prefer a move to Barca, who have asked him to refuse all other offers. Koundé has become one of the best defenders in La Liga since his arrival from Bordeaux in the summer of 2019 in a deal worth 25 million euros. The 23-year-old has emerged as a top target for Xavi Hernandez, of course, to strengthen his defense this season. Reports have claimed that Koundé is also keen on a switch to the Camp Nou and has already agreed a four-year contract with the Catalans over a transfer. However, according to the aforementioned report, Barca are yet to submit a written offer to Sevilla for the signing of Koundé as they had been busy finalizing the deal for Robert Lewandowski. In the meantime, Chelsea have reactivated their interest in Koundé after having moved on to other targets briefly. The Blues have already made an offer worth 55 million euros, which has been shot down by Sevilla. But the report claims that the two clubs are now inching closer and closer to an agreement as Chelsea look to get the deal over the line. Despite that, the Blues are aware that Koundé desires a move to Barca, which could become an issue in their pursuit of the Frenchman. Furthermore, it is also stated that Barca have requested Koundé to reject all offers that come his way and wait for them to make an approach. Sevilla are reportedly getting frustrated by the wait and will push the defender towards Chelsea if an offer from, the, from Barca does not arrive early. So, as mentioned earlier, Koundé desires a move to Barca. However, he would be willing to consider a transfer to Chelsea as it is his plan B. So, the ball is now in Barca's court. And it is now up to them to make an opening bid, an opening offer, and convince Sevilla to do business with them. So, as it stands, time is not in Barcelona's side. We need to act fast. We can see how Chelsea are trying to do things swiftly. So, like, for this Kunde's deal, it's a matter of who comes first. Like, who gives the better offer that Sevilla will accept first. You know, Chelsea, we quite remember, they did offer 55 million euros. 55 million. That is 50 million plus 5 million euros variables. And Sevilla rejected because they wanted something better than that. We have been talking about Sevilla's price. They want at least 65 million. Even though Jules Koundé's uh, release clause is worth 80 million euros. But Sevilla have asked just for 65 million euros. Of course, the price is quite huge. But um, we can quite understand that uh, because the player is still young, 23 years old, and still have some years left on his contract with them. So I think Barcelona this time around have no choice than to pay that money if they want to bring in Koundé to the Camp Nou. And we need to act fast because going by this report from Food Mercato, Chelsea are closing in on an agreement with Sevilla for the player. And Barcelona, who are so keen about this development, have asked Koundé to refuse those offers. To refuse. I don't know if they have refused the offers or they are still to accept them. But... Uh, the, 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 the truth of the matter is we need to act swiftly. Um, definitely, we know Barca have spent so much on Rafinha, you know, um, Lewandowski, a lot of money, thanks to the first economic lever that was activated. So, from the reports that we've been getting lately, Barca are likely to um, sell the other 15% of the TV rights in the coming days. Something that will really boost their, their efforts when it comes to Acquiring further new players, Kunde being one of them. So I don't know if Barca is they are waiting, but for that economic level to be activated before they go for Kunde, because the way things are slow, we might regret it. We might regret it, which I don't want it. So let's see how things go, 
as Chelsea continues to push hard, the battle looks to be very, very interesting, right? Like the one we saw when um, Rafinha was still at Leeds and Chelsea entered the picture, right? So let's see how it is going to end. But um, the fact that the player likes to come to Barca, from many reports that we've been talking about, it's already a big boost for Barca, but he also considers Chelsea so much as a plan B. So let's not be too confident and think that he likes Barca and will be too slow to bring our offers. We need to act fast because Sevilla are desperate for cash. We quite remember we spoke about Sevilla also having um, fallen victim to the financial fair play of La Liga. So they are also in serious financial issues and they need money as soon as possible. That is why you see Sevilla are really desperate to sell Kunde, despite being a very top class defender. They need the money, they need cash injection, and they need they just want any club. They don't even care who comes first, but they just want that money. That's 65 million euros to be at their hands. So interesting weeks, interesting days ahead. Then on to the next story of discussion. Bayern Munich manager Julian Nagelsmann has aimed a dig at Barcelona over their transfer business this summer after Barcelona raided the German champions for Robert Lewandowski. Barca are having a brilliant transfer window so far, having first brought in Frank Hissier and Andres Christensen on Bosman deals, which was followed by the arrival of Rafinha and the resigning of Usman Dembele. But the cherry on the top came in the form of Lewandowski's capture from Bayern after months of speculations and negotiations. The 33-year-old has joined the Black Grana in a deal worth 45 million euros plus 5 million euros in art arms. Lewandowski is understood to have signed a four-year contract with Barca and was officially presented on Tuesday in Miami on the club's pre-season tour. And Nagelsmann, who worked with Lewandowski for one year at Bayern, has now taken a shot at Barcelona for just spending. Speaking on build, the Bavarian Giants head coach said, Barcelona. The only club that has no money but then buys every player they want. I do not know how to do it. It's kind of weird, kind of crazy, he said. It is true that heading into the transfer window, there were a lot of concerns regarding Barcelona's financial situation and their ability to pull off big deals. However, the Catalans have managed to find ways to fund transfers. The activation of the first economic lever by selling 10% TV rights to 6th Street brought in over 200 million euros in revenue, while Barcelona are set to sell the remaining 15% TV right to the same company this week, anticipating a financial boost of around 330 million euros. That's huge. The sponsorship agreement with Spotify has also helped generate revenue on top of that. Barcelona are also considering the sale of 49% stake in Barca Studios, which could bring in a significant cash injection helping them sign more targets and register them without issues. As for Robert Lewandowski, having been unveiled on Tuesday, Lewandowski is expected to make his unofficial debut against Real Madrid in a friendly later this week. Nagelsmann, I don't know if he even follows Barcelona news, I don't know if he follows the details about what is happening in the Camp Nou. If Nagelsmann actually knew what is happening, if Nagelsmann followed Barcelona throughout this summer to see how we get our funds, I don't think he could have been saying what he's saying. Barcelona had to, you know, you use that initiative for the fact that they don't have the money, sell their, their um, part, a percentage, let me say so, a percentage of some of their assets. TV right is a very big asset for every company. Barca had to sell 25% in total of that. It was voted and they accepted that. So far, 10% have been sold and that is what is bringing us the revenue. It's not like Barca goes somewhere and steal money to do that, no. But Nagelsmann failed to understand that Barca did not just find loopholes to get money to sign players, but they had to sell some of their financial assets for that. And that is what is helping us to sign some of these top players. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.